Wash, wash, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people have thought of how cool it would be to spin a globe and point and go to wherever your finger lands. The problem with that is very few have the means to actually go. Then I watched Wapsicle with Colin Dudley and Julian Salmita take that idea and change the globe to a map of the US and instead of their finger they threw darts to pick their destination. However, that's still really expensive. So I wondered. How do I make this more accessible? What if I made the map smaller? What if I threw a dart and if it hit within a tank of gas, I could go? I want to show that you can travel more and still have an adventure even if you can only afford a tank of gas. And that's how I started Tank Trips. voting in 10 seconds so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 awesome so I guess I'm going to Kingsdale uh, I'm gonna go finish packing up my car and uh, I'll see you guys later Okay, so I'm about 30 minutes from Kinsale. Kinsale, I still don't know how to say that. And I stopped in Tappahannock because I really, really had to pee. And so I went inside and took care of business and then went um, and got some more water and a vitamin water because I'm thirsty. And there are only really two things that I looked up that you could do in Kinsale and that is uh, a winery and a museum and it's like a little tiny museum it looks like they converted somebody's house into a museum uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna probably do both since they're both there's only like two things to do but I'm really excited about the winery that's actually like a nice surprise uh, and I'm hoping there's like also a place to eat there because it's gonna be around lunchtime by the time I get there I know at the winery in Williamsburg they have a cafe that just actually makes really good food. So maybe this will also have food. If not, then we'll see. <laughs> I'll find somewhere to be. Um, but this is really exciting. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I've made it to Kinsale, as you can tell by the sign here. Um, it's really small. <laughs> like, it's pretty much all farmlands. I saw the most precious thing. I saw Grandpa with his, like, grandson 
on his lap, like teaching him how to drive the tractor. It was absolutely precious. Um, there's like a gas station right next to the sign, which is where I had to park because where this sign is, is this. Which I mean, granted, looks super duper cool. There's a lot of these abandoned places in all these old farms which I always thought was really awesome, but also kind of sad, because like, somebody used to live there. <laughs> so, this is the route to get to the vineyard, and it just started to rain, <laughs> which is great timing. Um, it looks like corn though, not grapes, but maybe I'm just not there yet. I am definitely out in the country though. This is kind of fantastic. <laughs> well, it's sprinkling, but I'm gonna go drink some wine, so it's not all that bad. Look at the little mural in the background. Isn't that cute? They did a good job. Oh, nice. Hello. Oh, it smells nice in here. <laughs> I can't smell it anymore. Okay, well, I'm sure you used it by now. Is it okay if I film in here? Sure, I can come in here. Oh, okay. Well, not film. What am I doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm making a YouTube video. Are you really? Yes. A winery? No. Just things in I here? just threw a dart at the map and I go wherever the dart goes. Okay. Well, and I good. like wine, so I figured well, this is good. a good place to be. Natural combination. Yeah. That's fine. Well, my name is Phil. Oh, Phil. Pleasure. Aaron. Aaron, yeah, nice to meet you. Well, we're taking from the top and Conundrum is your first one. This is the only white we have at the moment. Yeah, I saw all the varieties driving in. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, Normally, we got about eight or nine, nine or ten varieties, mostly reds. So, did you start the winery? Not me. I just I'm doing what you see me doing here. Okay. That's it. <laughs> the people that run the place live in that white house on the driveway, and it's a family, a uh, man and his wife and son that run the place. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they started the. I think they planted the grapes in 05 and opened the tasting room here in 07. That's not that much time between the two. No, it wasn't. They actually had a harvest in the fall of 06, so I guess uh, modern, tech, uh, modern techniques with farming and all that helped the grapes to get ripe sooner than they used to. Come on back here. Oh, sweet. Sweet thing. Oh, you don't like cameras though. I'm sorry. Are you, Freddy? you don't like cameras. Come here, baby You're always boy. Friendly. Come here. I'm being so standoffish. I think it's just a camera. My cat doesn't like cameras either. Hello, Me handsome. Do. Cameras don't usually bother him. People take his picture all the time. Hello, handsome. Oh. You got some big fluffy paws. He's yes, a big you boy. Do. Are you here to catch any mice, or are you just here to be petted? Mostly he's here to be scratched. <laughs> now, he will get a lizard pretty much every day during the winter. He loves that. I mean, summer. Oh. Yeah. He can tell who likes kitty cat. Mm, good boy. He came here as a kitten. We don't know where he came from like seven years ago. And uh, they fed him, so that was the end of the story. <laughs> and he's oh. famous. Because people come in here now and ask for Freddy. Oh, pretty boy. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't have a farm and not have a farm cat. That's exactly right. So, I have made it to actual Kinsale, uh, the downtown area here. I think it's Kinsale. Kinsale? I'm pretty sure it's Kinsale. I've had three people tell me how to say it. I keep messing it up. The cicadas are really loud. I'm pretty sure you can hear them right now. They are uh, very loud. Um, I've gotten this cute little gazebo, which is actually right across the museum. I'm actually gonna check out the museum in a little bit because those are the two things to do here. Um, besides like walk around this little 
downtown gardening area. There are a couple of like really cool abandoned buildings. Um, like the, I guess used to be old stores and stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna go look at those as well. Um, but it's been really nice. Like I, if it wasn't for the dart, there would have been absolutely no reason for me to come here. Like I would never come here. <laughs> Mostly because of that awful bridge. But I like nothing would take me here. And I got to go to a winery and everybody at the winery was super nice. And I bought a bottle of wine and it's actually really good. And now I'm gonna go learn more about this small town and it's it's just really nice. This is a great this is a great idea. This is a great thing to do. And I'm thank you, chat. Thanks, chat. <laughs> I appreciate you sending me here. This is nice. Um, so let's go let's go look at some stuff and let's go learn some stuff. Oh, yeah. Hello. Can I come in here? Thank you. I'm just here. <laughs> you are not just here. You are loved. Okay. And here um, you are signing your name um, on Saturday. Okay. So we're going to continue down to five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're a, you're a ten, a perfect ten. Oh, well, that's kind of you. Thank you. Well, we are privileged to have founded this museum because three young people in their late 20s and early 30s have decided to come here. Well, we are privileged to have founded this museum because three young people in their late 20s and early 30s noticed that Kinsale was losing its um, identity and its memory since the young people who graduated from college went away from here and didn't come back, most of them. And the people from away moved here and bought the houses and that meant there was just a tiny little foothold the young people were afraid. But the great thing about the, when they founded this foundation was that we built a bridge across from the new people to the been here people. And, um, we ate together and we talked together and we thought together and um, a sense of community that was engendered meant that there's a tremendous amount of outreach to help with the battered women's shelter, the less fortunate senior citizens and children, and just a sense that we are all in this together. Museum had stickers. So I bought a sticker. Sticker's gonna go here. All right, Tucker, you're getting some fancy stuff going on. Hope you're ready. Ooh, I, I crinkled the heck out of that. Bloop. Ooh, you hot. Child, you are hot. And not in a good way. Ooh. Squeeze, 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 squeeze there. I did a terrible job putting the sticker on. <laughs> there you go. Done. So after I left the museum, I just went ahead and left um, Kinsale. Uh, I got, I drove around the little historic area a little bit, and it's just like it's a nice town. It's a really cute town. Um, I would have stopped to eat there, but the only place that I got recommended by, by the locals was a seafood place, and you guys know I can't eat seafood, so I'm actually back here in Tappahannock, and I'm going to go to this In In Burger. Uh, I kept seeing signs for it. It's not a chain, so I figured I'd check it out. And you know, you can't go wrong with a hamburger, so let's go eat. Yes. Okay. And then can I also get a uh, bold rock as well? All right. 